Today we find out if you'd rather have a Blackwing Dragon Tin or a Legendary Collection 2. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. This one will be a versus battle between the Legendary Collection 2 and Blackwing Dragonton. The Blackwing Dragonton was actually sent to me to be opened by a viewer, so let's get into their note and see what they have to say. First of all, they sent this Pecanio Moth. It says 150K, congrats Rux, thank you so much. I appreciate it, the Pecanio Moth makes it even better. Then we have the note. Hey Rux, congrats on 150K. I've been watching your channel for a few years now. I can easily say you're my favorite YouTuber. Vintage stuff has always been my favorite and you never fail to deliver. Keep up the awesome work. Figured it would be a lot cooler to see you open this tin than do it myself. That sounds awesome. I'm excited to open it. By the way, you inspired me to make an Instagram a few weeks back. I really appreciate you getting me back into collecting. Sincerely, Shadow Realm Yu-Gi-Oh. So you guys can go follow him there if you guys want on Instagram. If you're part of the, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Instagram community, go check that out. Shadow Realm Collector also sent us a giveaway and it appears to be quite a bit of stuff here. So I don't know what it is. Let's just see. All right, so it's actually a pretty big giveaway. It involves some tactical masters like we've been giving away a lot of recently. It's five packs. Then we have a few single cards, which include the Secret Rare Misprint, Wild Heart, even though they're all like this, Guardian Grarl, and Draco Utopian Aura Secret Rare. And then we have a Legendary Blister with a Metal Raiders pack inside. So a pretty decent giveaway here. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below which you think was better, the Blackwing Dragon 10 or the Legendary Collection 2. And thank Shadow Realm Collector for sending this to be opened. Okay, let's open this thing up. We get the usual stuff. We've opened many of these on the channel. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then our promo pack with the gods and I like 15 other cards. There's a lot of cards in there. And then of course the uh, game board inside. So this I think will be around like 10 bucks, something like that for the sealed pack. And then we have five legendary collection two packs. There's been amazing stuff in these legendary collections. So hopefully we'll pull it in this video. Let's go, let's see what we can do. Uh, I think that legendary collection probably has a pretty big advantage over something like a old 10, but old 10s have potential of pulling really expensive cards. So let's see if we can do that. Venom swap, we got the D fortune, Prisma, Heroes Bond, Evil Hero Lightning Golem with a super rare. Okay, nice. I think that maybe is a dollar. And then a Necro Garden. I forgot the secret rare is only the second foil on this one. Really beautiful secret rare. That looks really good. Awesome. Divine Neos, probably worth a little bit. And then Infernal Prodigy probably was until they reprinted it recently. Probably not anymore, but still a pretty solid pack to start. We have another pack. Let's see if we can pull even better. The secret rare Necro Garden is not bad. Let's see if we can pull something even better. We have Six Samurai Nasashi. Elemental Recharge. We have the Clay Man. Destiny Hero Departed, very cool. Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer, another beautiful one. All these Elemental Heroes are like $1 to $2 out of here, even unlimited and even if they're super. So let's see what the Secret Rare is. Gladiator Beast Darius. This is a pretty good one. I'd say around six, seven to eight dollars, somewhere in there. Very solid secret rare. Nice. And then a Crystal Tree. I don't think that's too great, even with the Crystal Beast stuff coming out. And a Steam Healer. Okay, I always forget about Steam Healer. It's got percentage tree. Didn't this have like a deck or something with Steam Healer? I think it did. And then the Infernal Gainer. All right, so the Secret Rares have been pretty decent so far. I'd say uh, only, I mean, there's some pretty big ones, but we've pulled pretty solid so far. Let's see if we can pull another big one. We have the Elemental Hero Voltic. Offering to the Snake Deity. H Heated Heart. Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman, a pretty cool one. Chamberlain of the Six Samurai, a 2K Defender, just a normal monster, very weird. DD Crow, oh, that's good. Is that a super? Yeah, that's a very good super rare. Okay, that's going to be adding to the total. And Gladiator Beast Bestiari, very nice. I think they're hitting this in Progression Series Season 2 right about now. So pretty cool to see this. Very nice secret rare. Card blocker, I don't think that one's very good. And then over destiny. So honestly, pretty good secret rare so far. Nothing like huge in terms of like old school, but some pretty good ones, I would say. Let's see, I think our total value is gonna be pretty solid. It's definitely gonna put up a uh, decent showing against the Blackwing De Dragon. Da I was gonna say Dagon, all right. Venom Swap, let's go. Wing Karibo, non-fusion area, let's go. Let's pull something big. Cold Enchanter, D-Shield. Destiny Hero Dogma as a super rare. That's pretty nice. And let's see what the secret will be. Ooh, a Dark Neo secret rare. That is beautiful. Oh yeah, that's a sweet pull. And then Venomanaga, the Deity of Poison Snakes. Just had a reprint in one of those collector rare sets and has a collector rare now, so probably not great. Proving Ground, I wonder if that's worth anything. It's a pretty good card for Glad Beast. Okay, final Legendary Collection 2 pack. So far been a solid one, I would say. Very solid. So let's see if we can uh, keep it up, pull something really good. Gray Squirmer, Instant Neo Space, Hero Counterattack, Elemental Hero Avian, 
Rainbow Neos. This used to be a huge card. Like before it got, where did it get reprinted? Gold series? I think it was like a, a maximum gold Eldorado or something. But this was like $15, $20 as a common. So like the super was probably even better. Whew, here we go, secret. It's a trap card. Gladiator Beast Warrior Chariot. Keep him with the Gladiator Beast theme. Pretty solid. I think it's a few bucks. We will take that one. Cyber Valley. I don't remember if that's good or not. Crystal Blessing and Double Edged Sword Technique. So overall, I would say that was a pretty solid Legendary Collection. I mean, we're probably in the $40 to $50 range in terms of value. So it's going to be tough for the tin to beat. But that's what we're here for. Tin time Shadow Realm Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's see if we can pull him a Ghost Rare. We have been pulling people Ghost Rares recently. So let's see if we can continue it. All right. 2010 Blackwing Dragon Tin. Yeah. 10, 10, however you want to say. It's a little bit confusing because I say them the exact same way. Let's go. I don't know what this promo goes for. We're going to keep this one sealed as well for him. Uh, but I think there's a couple other cards. So I don't know what the value of this will be. Maybe we'll be able to find it on eBay for a value. But that's going to be solid value as well. Then we have our packs, which include, first of all, we have exclusive cards with your <laughs> subscription to Shonen Jump. I don't think they do that anymore. They quit that a couple of years ago. And then we have two Shining Darkness. We have two Absolute Power Force and one Stardust Overdrive. So five packs to get like $50. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, we can also see what's new in 2010, how to get the newest cards. How, how can we get the newest cards, guys? If you want to do that, just check out my links down below in the description for all the newest releases. I'll have a 5% discount code with Sassy Auto, so make sure you guys go check that out. Glad you brought that up, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. All right, new to dueling, duels toolbox, the perfect place to start. Yeah, this is actually a really cool starter deck. So pretty cool to see that really old stuff, you know, them promoting their stuff 12 years ago. All right, it's time. Five packs. Can we pull something big? Will we pull a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, even a, what is it, an Ultra, I think, in this set? Let's see. We have a Crevice into the Different Dimension. Nice. Kwaki Mirror Sandman is actually a pretty solid card even to this day. Flare Resonator. Memory Crush King. I always thought this guy was pretty creepy with like the brain and then the horn coming out of it. Pretty weird. Key Mouse. Okay, Mouse with a key. Quacky Mirror initialize. All right. Morphtronic Vacuum. And he's going to vacuum. All right. The Vacuum Man. Uh, Infernity Inferno. And I think it would come after this if it's a foil. It's not this time. Hunter of Black Feathers. So we'll have to wait till another pack to figure that out. Hunter of Black Feathers. I think I used this in an auction series episode at one point. I'm pretty sure I did. Next up, let's try an Absolute Power Force. ABPF, I believe, is the abbreviation. Let's see if I'm right about that. Sometimes it's kind of hard to, to remember these 5Ds ones for some reason. They're always kind of weird. Uh, it is ABPF. I mean, it kind of makes sense. But Reptilian Rage. We got the Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Very nice. Destruct Potion. All right. The Potion. Wait, is that Dark Ruler Hades? It is Dark Ruler Hades. He is huge. Oh, my goodness. That is very creepy. Machine King 3000 BC. All right. Weeping Idol. Break. Draw. Nice. Consecrated Light. All right. Cool card. Cyber Dragon Zue, pretty cool Cyber Dragon card. Now, will we get a foil? Let's go. Fire Ant Askator, we will not get a foil, but we did get a Cyber Dragon card. That's pretty cool. All right, three packs to go. Let's go back to the Shining Darkness. Let's see what we can pull. All right, we have opened it up. That opened really like easily. That was weird. Okay, let's keep going. Spore, Leeching the Light, Second Booster, Watt Woodpecker, Corridor of Agony, Mouse with a key. Phantom hand. So it's like, I, I was expecting it to be like his hand, but it's really just the cards in his hand. You know, his hand from like Yu-Gi-Oh! Makes sense. Uh, Ally of Justice, Core Destroyer, and we have a... Infernity Randomizer. Come on! Where are foils? Two packs to go in this Blackwing Dragon 10. So far, we've basically pulled nothing besides, of course, the one that's, you know, automatically in there. So let's see if we can change that right now. All we need is one big pull to turn it around. Absolute Power Force, Majestic Red Dragon. One, two, three. What can we pull? The Oppo Cut Quill, Kate Quill, Oppo Quate Quill. I don't know what that is. Alien Brain, oh, Alien Brain. Changing Destiny, Reptilian Naga, Advance Force, Tricular, nice. Oh, and there's the super. Okay, so it comes before the full. Oh, okay, it comes before the rare. So Ritual Cage, Vibers Rebirth, and then Dragon Queen of Tragic Endings. This is in the 5Ds anime. I remember it. 
Okay, I think this one's, for some reason, I have a feeling that this one's actually pretty good. I don't think it has a lot of like prints or whatever. I think it might be a few dollars. So that might actually be pretty solid. Our first super rare of the Blackwing Dragon 10. Trying to make a comeback at the end. We will take it. All right, our final pack of the opening so far. Pretty amazing legendary collection. So far, it's been pretty average 10. We need something big here to kind of turn that around. We could pull the ghost rare. What is it? Majestic Star Dragon. We could pull the ultimate rare Majestic Star Dragon. I mean, there's a lot of great cards in here that are like commons as well let's see what we can get gemini booster all right energy bravery savage coliseum very nice reptilian spawn swap frog very good card i don't think it's worth over a dollar but it's still a very good card earthbound wave will there be something crazy will it be the next card i don't know how this goes let's see it was the next card majestic star dragon ultimate rare oh my goodness let's go in the final pack of the 10 this is gonna make this a very close battle i don't know what the unlimited ulti goes for but it's got to be at least you know 20 plus bucks right oh my goodness last pack magic a little bit of a ding up there maybe slight ding there at the top but overall wow last pack magic stardust overdrive majestic star dragon ultimate rare not the ghost rare but still pretty amazing oh my goodness i'm really interested to see the totals now to see like who won between the black wing dragon 10 or the legendary collection 2 you guys will see it right here if you guys enjoyed another awesome poll that we had for a viewer, then make sure to subscribe to the channel because hopefully we will be doing this more often and pulling some amazing stuff when you guys send me stuff because it always feels nice when you guys, you know, send me stuff to open, let me make a video out of it to pull really well for you. So recently we've been able to do that, which has been awesome. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Tom. Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.